Uh, well, that's you into today's first video. It's Monday at Gaza. This of culture means only one thing. It's Europe Day. Every Monday morning at Gaza, we have a look at weather for coming week across the continent. And today is no exception. Now, before I get on with the European outlook, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on most of the pages at gazbothers.com. Have a browse super widgets and any articles that you're interested in, just click through. You'll be able to go off and read those articles. And thanks so much for doing that. The website we're using for the European outlook is westcentral.d, a wonderful German website. You can find links to that on my links page. Thanks so much for doing that. So, well, the situation this week is that we've got a big blocking feature sitting up to the northeast. Really, that's going to be the main uh, talking point of where weather this week. It's not got particularly cold air associated with it, I have to say. It's quite cold. I mean, it is wintry, so it's going to be cold and leave high pressure over Scandinavia, but it's not sort of the deep Siberian uh, sourced cold right from the Urals uh, and the Russian steppes. Um, it's not that sort of bitter cold uh, underneath this high pressure. It's just sort of average winter type cold. Now, for, in fact, for some eastern parts of Europe, it's still a little bit above average. Um, also, going to be quite a wet week down through Mediterranean. You're going to have a really uh, unsettled week of it this week with low pressure bringing lots of heavy showers and thunderstorms. Let's get on with it. And uh, here we go with uh, today's synoptic pressure chart from the GFS. We've got high pressure over Scandinavia at 1,030. Millibars, low pressures tried coming from the Atlantic in towards the United Kingdom and Ireland, but basically this high pressure is holding sway, keeping most of Europe mainly settled but cold. Although it is unsettled going through France, and then low pressure is beginning to generate. It's not too bad today, it's beginning to generate through Mediterranean, producing uh, some uh, showers. Not yet a real deluge. Quite warm air pushing into the southeast of Europe uh, with this southerly wind coming out of North Africa. If we have a look at the upper air, as you can see that quite nicely, these yellow colours down here across some parts of Italy over the Adriatic in towards the uh, Balkans and down through in towards the southeast of Europe around Greece. Uh, warm southerly winds wafting up there, or mild southerly winds wafting up there. Conversely, it's cold up in the northwest, so Scandinavia has proper cold upper air temperatures and they extend in towards the United Kingdom, parts of France, low countries, Denmark, northern and uh, west parts of Germany uh, as well. And then the divide lines where they've got those showers kicking off through parts of the Mediterranean. The upper air temperatures are particularly cold for Scandinavia, so bitterly cold up there, backing in towards west parts of Russia. It will get colder in western Russia later this week. A big freeze trying to get into Europe, but whether it actually manages it, I'm not sure. Uh, elsewhere, the upper air temperatures, the uh, dew points, I should say, are quite cold, um, but uh, not severely cold, not sort of uh, big freeze type weather. I mean, it's mild through Mediterranean down into the southeast of Europe. So some showers are uh, developing through parts of France going down in towards the central base of the Mediterranean, could be some heavy showers, thunderstorms through parts of Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza through the Balearic Islands uh, today and they could extend on towards uh, the Mediterranean coast of Spain uh, as well. Much of Spain though largely dry. A um, few showers around southern Italy, a few showers uh, going over the age out King towards the Balkans, but most places actually in the southeast Europe will be dry. Dry through the central portions uh, of Europe and then running to be snow showers up over Scandinavia. And a few snow showers running down the North Sea in towards the UK and also uh, around Denmark also. Um, and wet weather coming towards Ireland by the end of today. Uh, so it's a cold scene, but it's not severely cold by any means. In fact, these temperatures are probably a little bit above average for any central parts of Europe at around 2, 3, 4 degrees. It is cold in the UK and across Ireland, but it's pretty cool across France. It's not severely cold there, but uh, temperatures of 4 or 5 degrees probably a little bit uh, below average. And then through the Mediterranean, uh, actually, it's quite mild. Moving through into the middle part of the week, that weather system coming in to the uh, United Kingdom and Ireland early in the week will sort of stall and slip away in towards France. That could take a lot of heavy rain uh, down into France. It's this low pressure that will eventually start to generate some very big uh, showers and thunderstorms through much of the Med. The high pressure building up over Scandinavia, and there's the first signs that cold air trying to push down in towards western parts of Russia on the uh, eastern side of this Scandinavian high. The uh, upper air temperatures show that cold air trying to push down in towards western Russia, but actually it's not too bad across most parts of Europe. It's still cold for Scandinavia, uh, down in towards the UK, in towards uh, low countries and Denmark. So in the northwest Europe it's pretty cold, not severely cold, but it is quite cold there. Otherwise generally quite mild, especially in the southeast of Europe where we're bringing up those southerly winds. 
the dew point showing that Scandinavia is on the brink of uh, getting quite a freeze by the middle part of the week, and that does extend in towards western parts of Russia as well. Otherwise, these are generally quite mild dew points away, uh, again, from the United Kingdom and Ireland and some parts of France and the Low Countries, where it's probably a little bit colder than average. So heavy showers or thunderstorms increasingly developing through the uh, Mediterranean through the middle of the week, so stretched out from the Balearic Islands over, over towards Corsica and Sardinia, and then down into Italy over the Adriatic, in towards the Balkans, could be some big showers and thunderstorms beginning to generate there through the middle part of the week. Quite wet weather coming down through France, that could turn to snow on Wednesday across the United Kingdom. Uh, that rain extends through France in towards the north of Spain. Will be snow over the Pyrenees, of course, and lots of dry weather through central portions of Europe until you run back into snow showers over Scandinavia, uh, uh, through the uh, Balkans, and going off in towards the northeast of Europe as well. The temperatures at the end of the week, uh, middle part of the week, I should say, are going to be quite cold, uh, but generally not a big freeze, we're just talking temperatures around 2, 3, 4 degrees in most parts of the country although we're generally starting to get above freezing as is parts of the UK and uh, Ireland as well we head off in towards the end of the week and the high pressure is still up there to the northeast of uh, Europe over Scandinavia and towards western parts of Russia. Low pressure firmly there down over the Mediterranean producing heavy showers and thunderstorms and another weather system trying to come into the northwest of Europe. So it really is a very mild scene across many central and eastern parts of the Med and going into the southeast of Europe. Uh, this low pressure pulling up a lot of uh, warm air out of North Africa. Um, the cold air is sitting there uh, over western Russia. Will it get in? I'm not sure and then it does extend back in towards the northwest of Europe uh, as well so again it's still quite a cold scene for much of Ireland, United Kingdom, Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, uh, parts of Denmark and Northern Germany uh, as well. Having a look at the dew points, big freeze just threatening to start pushing in towards uh, Europe by the end of uh, the week. There it is over Russia, that's severely cold air, but still it's just about pained on the Russian border at that point on Friday. Otherwise, quite a warm scene here, uh, certainly down in the southeast of Europe. Uh, very mild air coming out of uh, North Africa, conversely out to the northwest, that's where it is coldest. So loads of heavy showers and thunderstorms through the Mediterranean may start uh, from around uh, Mallorca. They extend right through the central bowl of the Med, over towards Italy, over the Adriatic and down into Greece. Uh, big showers and thunderstorms coming up there. Wet and windy conditions trying to move in towards the west of uh, Scotland and Ireland, but being held up by that high pressure sitting over Scandinavia. And otherwise, lots of dry weather at the end of the week. A few snow flurries scattered about, but not a great deal going on up in the north of uh, Europe. And the temperatures at the end of the week, uh, well, there's just the first hints of that very cold air lurking on the Russian border. Uh, maximums are just minus 13 perhaps for Moscow by the time you get through to the end of the week. But otherwise the temperatures aren't too bad uh, really. Although, again, for Germany, France, Low Countries, United Kingdom, Ireland, these temperatures are quite cold, particularly for UK and France where we're just getting one or two degrees uh, above freezing. So the coldest weather in Europe this week really is going to be out in the west and the northwest. So Folks in the United Kingdom watching this, uh, I know you're often complaining that uh, uh, many other parts of Europe are colder than we are. Uh, we're going to be one of the coldest places in Europe this week, so we're not doing too bad compared to, to uh, elsewhere. Finally, having a look at next weekend and high pressures extending through the west of Europe and uh, trying to reach this high pressure still sitting up over Scandinavia, we still have low pressure generated through the Mediterranean. So cold air generally in the west and central parts of Europe, although not severely cold air, the severest cold air is still on the Russian border lurking, but not yet able to get in. Whether it ever does get in, we'll have to wait and see. The warmest temperatures again in the east and the southeast of Europe. The dew points show that severely cold air lurking to the east and the northeast, actually beginning to infiltrate a little bit in towards, say, uh, parts of uh, Poland, maybe. You can start to see that uh, severely cold air getting in. Certainly over towards Ukraine 
time uh, we start to get that severely cold air beginning to push out of Russia. But generally, again, it's not a severely cold scene uh, most parts of Europe by next weekend. Uh, lots of baby showers and thunderstorms still there through the main train, although they may be starting to damper down a little bit, uh, actually, but still the risk of some big uh, showers or storms, really, particularly, again, uh, from Yorker and over towards Corsica, Sardinia, then uh, towards Italy and down towards Greece. Mainly dry across Spain and Portugal through uh, the course of this week. Uh, many parts of Europe having uh, dry weather as we go through in towards next weekend. A few light showers so far is scattered about further north and northeast, but plenty of dry weather. Um, and there's that freezing cold, or those freezing cold temperatures out to the far northeast of Europe, trying desperately to push into Europe. Um, most other places are cold, chilly, really, temperatures 1, 2, 3 degrees. Uh, notice it's still very cold, really, uh, for the United Kingdom with temperatures just 1, uh, 2 degrees above freezing going to be well below average in the UK three this week and pretty cold going down in towards France uh, as well um, but once we go in towards Germany and the east was of that uh, both temperatures whilst they are cold are, are probably not that far from uh, the seasonal average and then of course we meet that severely cold air in the far northeast of Europe so a lot going on uh, this week we're going to have a high pressure over Scandinavia that's going to be dominating the scene uh, and of course loads of showers and thunderstorms through the Mediterranean We'll probably be hearing about flooding across parts of the Med, unfortunately, with those showers and storms this week. That's where most of the seven conditions will be this week. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather really coming up. Fairly chilly, not severely cold, away from the far northeast. In the far northeast, that severely cold air is trying to get out of western Russia and get in. Whether it does, I'm not sure. Coldest places in Europe this week will be Ireland, the United Kingdom, France, maybe Belgium and Holland, uh, and western parts of Germany. So, uh, the coldest weather in the northwest, the warmest weather in the southeast. That's all for now. Hope you found the video interesting. Bye for now. Have a good week.